Hello my children and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to create your very own western themed church with a fairly detailed interior. You want to start by clearing an area of 29 blocks by 39 blocks. These are the materials you will need and as always you may have some placeholder blocks left over at the end. Now let's get building. For the floor you want to start by adding a layer of tuff mixed with a small number of andesite and brain dead coral on top of the red and black concrete outline. Fill in a gap between these blocks with upside down barrels. Next we're going to get started on the front wall. For all of these walls I'll be using a mixture of white concrete, white wool and white concrete powder and mixing in a small amount of calcite at the bottom three levels of the walls. The first thing you want to do is add a 2x8 wall of these blocks starting at each of the corners at the left and right hand sides. On top of the tough base blocks at the side and in front of these walls add an 8 high pillar of stripped dark oak logs going vertically. Next to these walls going in towards the centre of the build add a 2x9 wall at each side. Then add a 3x1 wall at each side going towards the centre. Leave a 3x4 gap above this one high wall then add a 2x5 wall starting at the side besides all the walls. Then add a 1x6 wall next to these walls above the gap. Next add an 11 block high pillar. At the top of the blocks just under the hole in the wall add a 5 long layer of dark oak slabs. On top of the middle slab add a lantern. On top of the slabs at each side add a 3 high pillar of dark oak fences. Top the fences off with a dark oak stair facing away from the centre of the hole. Next to these stairs going towards the centre of the hole add an upside down dark oak stair. Top the upside down stairs off with a dark oak slab. And finish off by adding a dark oak stair in the gap between the slabs. Then add a 2x12 wall at each side. Now add a 21 block high pillar at each side going towards the centre of the building. Beside both of these pillars leave a 3 block gap above the floor and add a 13 block high pillar at each side. Then in between the wall leave a 4 block gap and add a 3x12 wall. And finish this wall by adding 2 upside down smooth quartz stairs at each side of the gap in the centre to create an archway. Now we are going to add the right side wall of the tower. Start by adding a 21 block high pillar at the left hand corner. To the right of that pillar add a 16 block high pillar. At the right hand side add a 2 by 16 block wall. In the gap at the bottom add a 2 by 3 wall. On top of that add a 2 by 3 window of glass panes. Add a 2 by 3 wall on top of the glass. Then add another 2 by 3 window of glass panes. Then finish off this side by adding a 2 by 4 wall on top of the glass. Next you'll want to repeat these exact steps over at the left hand wall. Now coming around to the front wall of the tower we're going to start by adding a 16 block high pillar at both sides of the wall. Next to the walls add a 3 high pillar of upright dark oak trapdoors at both sides. Then in the centre add a dark oak door with a dark oak trapdoor on top. Above the trapdoors add a 3x1 wall of white concrete and white wool. Then above this wall we're going to use 4 dark oak trapdoors and make an upside down T. Then to the sides of the top trapdoor add a white wool and white concrete block. Above this add a 3x2 wall. On top of the wall we just added add a 3x3 window of glass panes. Then add a 3x5 wall on top of the glass. To finish up the front wall we're going to add in some details. Start by adding a 21 block high pillar of stripped dark oak logs going vertically on top of the tough blocks to the left and right of the tower. Next add a 7 long row of dark oak slabs to the top of the blocks just under the door. Then add a 3 wide row of dark oak slabs on the ground. At the sides of the bottom dark oak trap doors add an upside down dark oak stair. Top the stairs off with a 4 high pillar of dark oak fences. On top of the fences add a dark oak slab. Next to the slabs going towards the centre of the wall add a dark oak stair facing away from the wall. Then at the bottom of the block just above the dark oak trap door between the stairs add a dark oak slab. Slab. And finally for the door frame hang a lantern from the dark oak slab we just added. For the window frame above the door start by adding a dark oak slab to the top of the block just under the centre of the window. Next to this come up a block at each side and add a dark oak stair facing towards the centre of the window. Then above each of the stairs add an upright dark oak trap door. Then on the outside of these trap doors add another upright dark oak trap door to give us these vertical looking slabs. Place an upside down dark oak stair in front of the two top corner pieces of glass. Then at the bottom of the block just above the centre of the window add a dark oak slab. So now you should have this circular window frame. Come up above this slab by 3 blocks and add a 7 wide layer of dark oak slabs to the bottom of the block. And finally add a 7 wide row of open dark oak fence gates just under the slabs. Coming up to the top of the tower where the bell will go you want to start by joining the two side pillars with a 5 long layer of white concrete on all 4 sides of the tower. Then add white concrete blocks in the corners under this wall at each of the 4 sides again. Under these blocks we just added add an upside down smooth clot stair facing towards the centre of the tower. Then add another 2 upside down smooth clot stairs beside these blocks going towards the centre of the tower. On top of the wall underneath the archway we just created add a dark oak fence gate on top of the middle block. Then add 2 fences to each side of the fence gates. Then starting in the top right corner under the fences place a spruce slab to the bottom of the block that the fences are on and using your spruce stairs and spruce slabs you want to create a spiral staircase from the top of the tower to the bottom 
where you should end underneath the bottom window on the right wall. Then using your spruce slabs, fill in the floor at the top of the tower, making sure not to block off your staircase. Then using two dark oak fence gates and two dark oak fences, add a hand railing along the gap at the staircase, and top off the end fence with a lantern to light up the area. Next, you want to join the centre of the very top walls with dark oak fences and a cross sheet. Underneath the middle fence, hang an extra dark oak fence with a bell under it, and finish off by adding a three high pillar of dark oak fences on top of the middle fence. Now it's time to add the roof of the tower. Start by coming to the back of the tower and at the top of the left and right hand sides add a 9 block high pillar of stripped dark oak logs going vertically. Then taking your deep slate tile stairs add an 11 by 11 ring of stairs in front of the top stripped dark oak logs. Then you want to repeat the process of coming up and in a block and add another 4 rings of deep slate tile stairs. Once you've added the 4 layers of stairs you should end up with a 3 by 3 ring of deep slate tile stairs with a gap in the middle. Fill in the gap with a deep slate tile block. Then on top of the deep slate tile block, build a 7 high and 5 wide cross using stripped dark oak logs. Then finish up by adding a button to the front and back of the cross where the vertical and horizontal logs join. Coming over to the wall at the left of the building, in the right hand corner add a 3x7 wall using the same mixture of white concrete, white wool and white concrete powder and also mixing in a small number of calcite in the bottom 3 levels of the walls. At the left corner add a 4x7 wall, beside these walls going towards the centre of the building leave a 3 block gap and add a 2x7 wall at each side. Then again going towards the centre of the wall leave a 3 block gap at each side and add a 2x7 wall. At the bottom of the 5 3 wide gaps add a layer of dark oak stairs making sure the 2 stairs beside the walls have the back of the stair against the wall. Above the side stairs add a 5 high pillar of upright dark oak trap doors. Above the trap doors add an upside down dark oak stair facing towards the centre of the gap. Then join the stairs at the top with a dark oak trap door. Add a final 30 by 1 wall on top. And finish this wall by adding an 8 high pillar of stripped dark oak logs on a tough block sticking out from the left corner part of the wall. Then you want to repeat these exact steps for the wall at the opposite side of the building. Coming to the back of the building, start by adding an 8 block high pillar at the left and right hand sides going towards the centre of the wall. Then add a 2x9 wall at each side, add a 2x10 wall, then add a 2x11 wall, and then add a 2x12 wall. Next to these walls going towards the centre, add a 6 block high pillar, leave a 3 block gap above this pillar and add a 4 block high pillar. Then next to the bottom pillars, add a 5 block high pillar, leave a 5 block gap above the pillar and add a 3 block high pillar. At the bottom in the centre, add a 3x4 wall, leave a 7 block high gap above the wall and add a 3x3 wall above the gap. Next, on top of the two blocks sticking out from the corners, add an 8 high pillar of stripped dark oak logs going vertically. Then on top of the two middle blocks, add an 11 high pillar of stripped dark oak logs going vertically. Next, coming up to the third log of each pillar, you want to add a row of horizontal stripped dark oak logs to connect the four pillars. Where the two middle pillars connect with horizontal logs, add a stone button. In the centre of the hole, you want to join the four sides using dark oak fences in a cross shape. Then you want to extend the fences out so all the other sides have a one block gap between the hole and the fences. Next, we're going to add a window frame around the gap in the centre. Start by by adding a dark oak trap door in front of the four fences that connect to the walls of the window. Then add another dark oak trap door on the outside of the first trap door to make them look like slabs. At the bottom beside the trap door in front of the fence add two dark oak stairs facing the centre of the window. Then at the back of these stairs add an upside down dark oak stair facing away from the window. Top the upside down stairs off with a dark oak slab. Going away from the window add an upside down dark oak stair facing away from the window beside the slabs. Then top off these upside down stairs with dark oak stairs facing into the centre of the window. Next at the top add two upside down dark oak stairs facing the centre of the window beside the trap door in front of the fence. Add a dark oak stair facing away from the building on the outside of these stairs. Add a dark oak slab under these right side up stairs. Add a dark oak stair facing away from the building to the outside of these slabs. Then add an upside down dark oak stair facing into the centre of the window under the stairs we just placed. Now it's time to work on the interior. Under the windows at the side walls and the front walls, add a sea lantern in the centre of the window. Then at each side of the sea lantern, add a prismarine brick. For the front two windows, you want to take your red and blue stained glass panes and add this stained glass window design. Then at both of the side walls, you're going to add this checkerboard pattern using lime and yellow stained glass panes at the two end windows. For the next two windows going towards the centre of the wall, take your red and blue stained glass and add this window design. Then in the very centre window, take your orange and purple stained glass and add this window design. And finish off by adding upside down lightning rods topped off with a lit candle in front of all the sea lanterns at the side windows. Then for the rest of the walls, join the outline under all the windows using prismine blocks, making sure not to block off the entrance at the front. Then coming over to the front wall, add a layer of upside down jungle stairs in front of the quartz stairs. Then above the bottom jungle stairs, add a 10 high pillar of white terracotta. On top of the prismine blocks at the sides of these stairs, add a 12 high pillar of white terracotta. Then on top of the two jungle stairs, add a 3 by 10 wall of white terracotta and cover the rest of the walls with white terracotta. And finish off the walls by filling the gap at the back wall with glass panes. 
Over at the entrance, I'm going to start by hanging some lanterns and chains from the corners of the staircase. Under the jungle stair at the left wall, add an upside down dark oak stair, add an upright dark oak trap door to the sides, then add a spruce sign to the front that says donations, and finish off the donation table by adding a flower pot on top to hold all of the donations. Add an iron bar topped off with a lantern two blocks away from the bottom jungle stairs, and next to the lights add these cross banners, you can find a link to the banner pattern below. For the seating, start by coming 4 blocks away from the corner of the front window and add a 7 long layer of dark oak slabs at the top of the block. At the sides of the two end slabs, add an upright dark oak trap door, and at the back, add a 7 long and 2 high layer of upright dark oak trap doors. Then add 4 more seats in front, coming 3 blocks forward each time, and finish up the seating by repeating these steps in front of the other window. Next we're going to work on the back of the church, which is where we'll have our stage and altar. Starting in the left hand corner, you want to add this piano from fellow YouTuber Beastin' Feastin. You can find the full tutorial linked below. I'm going to replace the dark oak planks behind the rails with looms. For the seat, I'm going to take a simple approach by using two dark oak slabs placed at the top of the block with two dark oak trap doors at the sides. Then place two of these bamels on the blocks above the rails. For the stage, come one block over from the piano and coming away from the wall, add an 8 long layer of spruce slabs on top of the floor. Come over to the right with 3 more slabs beside the top slab. Then add a red nello brick stair, smooth quartz stair and another red nello brick stair to the right. To the right of the stairs, add 4 more spruce slabs. Then join the end slab to the back wall with more spruce slabs. Fill in the centre of this ring with more spruce slabs, this time make sure to place them at the top of the block. Over at the left, add a cauldron filled with water, then add a white banner to the side to act as a towel. Coming two blocks away from the wall, I'm going to add a seven wide and two long layer of dark oak fences. Top the fences off with white carpet. Then in front of the fences, add these panels all the way around to act as a tablecloth. On the back wall, behind the sides of the table, add an iron bar topped off with a lantern. Then two blocks away from the side window each side, come up six blocks and add an iron bar with a lantern hanging from the bottom. Then going towards the window, come over four blocks and add another one of the cross design banners. At the right of the stage, we're going to add a small altar. Start by leaving a one block gap beside the back window and add a three long layer of dark oak slabs going towards the stage. In front of the slabs, add a three by two layer of dark oak planks. On top of the front centre plank, add a lectern with a book and quill. Then at the sides of the lectern, add a lantern and a sea pickle. Surround the sides of the slabs with upright dark oak trap doors. Then surround the sides in front of the planks with a two high layer of upright dark oak trap doors. In front of the red nether brick stairs at the stage, add a two long layer of red carpet. In front of the smooth quartz stair, add a white carpet followed by a red carpet. Then in between the pews, I'm going to remove some of the barrows from the middle three rows of the floor and add some hidden lighting. Coming out from both of the red nether brick stairs, going towards the entrance, add an 18 long layer of red carpet. Then coming out from the smooth quartz stair, add a 17 long layer of white carpet. And finish up the carpet by joining the two red sides with an additional red carpet. Next we're going to add a support beam. In the centre of the back wall, come down three blocks and join this wall to the opposite wall at the front with a layer of horizontal dark oak logs. Coming in five blocks from the front and back walls, add a five long layer of horizontal dark oak logs coming out from the middle log and going towards the side walls. Come towards the centre of the building at each side by five blocks again and do the same. Then to make sure no mobs can spawn up here, add some lights. Coming underneath, I'm going to add some buttons along the middle row of the logs where they join with the logs going out towards the sides. Along the centre beam, I'm going to evenly place 5 sets of lights using 4 chains and a lantern. Underneath the logs going towards the side walls, above the first and last row of seats, add a light using 5 chains and a lantern. Then in the centre of the horizontal logs closest to the back wall, hang down 4 chains. Attach an iron bar under the bottom chain. Then add an iron bar to the full sides of this iron bar. And top these 4 iron bars off with a lit candle. For the roof, you want to start by adding a two long layer of deep slit tile slabs coming away from the building on top of both side walls. In front of these slabs at both sides going towards the centre of the building, add a layer of deep slit tile blocks. Come up and in a block and add a row of deep slit tile slabs in front of the blocks. Then come in an upper block again and add a row of deep slit tile blocks. Then you want to repeat this process until both sides of the roof meet in the centre of the building with a row of deep slit tile blocks. At the two front sections beside the tower and back of the building, extend the roof out by an extra block. Underneath the slabs at the front and back of the building, add a layer of upside down deep slit tile stills. Then come back inside and underneath the deep slit tile slabs on the inside of the building, add a layer of upside down deep slit tile stills. And finish off by placing around some cobwebs and dripstone in between the roof and the support beam. And there you have it, your very own western themed church and interior ready for your first sermon. If you're looking for some different blocks to use for the build, you could use a lighter colour wood like birch for the walls and use a darker wood like spruce or dark oak for the roof. Or for something even more different, you could go with a stone and wooden block palette for the build, then you could use this same church design in a medieval area. Thank you very much for watching, you can find a playlist for all my western themed builds on my channel, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more Minecraft tutorials in the future. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye!